Hi, Mini Beanies. Beanies. It's the Beanies here. That means you're with Laura. Michael. And Mim. And this is Flurry Sprouts. Sprouts. And today we're going to learn all about bees. Yay! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't we be afraid of bees? Why would we be? <laughs> well, because they sting. I got stung by a bee once and it turned me into a slug. <gasps> really? I got better. <laughs> Michael, that didn't happen. Well, they do sting. Well, only if you're mean to them and call them names. Well, I have heard that they can be quite sensitive. So let's all be really nice to the bees today. Another good one. That's good. <laughs> hey, mini bees, we're also going to learn about bee hotels. Oh, they have hotels? Yeah, but they're not like real hotels. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is, it, is it like when you go on holiday and you have to leave your dog at a hotel until you get back? Oh, imagine the bees that have such cute tiny little rooms. No, actually, it is a lot like that. It is or it isn't? Yes. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that I am confused and hungry. Well, luckily, I know someone who can straighten all of this out. Professor Know-It-All! Hello, beanies. And what are we up to today? Oh, well, we're making a video for Floriad Sprouts and telling mini beanies all about bees oh, and bee hotels. Oh, and what the recipe is for honey. I always try and ask them, but they seem like they're too busy. Mm. How delightful. Well, Michael, there isn't a recipe for making honey because only insects, like bees, can make honey. Well, how do they make it? Bees fly from flower to flower collecting pollen and nectar. Hmm, pollen. What is that? Pollen is a little powder made by flowers to share with other flowers so they can make seeds. And what is nectar? Nectar is a sugary treat flowers make to encourage bees to come to them. Ooh, treats! I'm still confused and hungry. That's okay, Michael. The important part is that flowers make pollen and nectar and bees collect it to make honey. They go from flower to flower, collecting as much as they can and then bring it back to their home called a bee hive. And that's where they turn the nectar and pollen into honey. Cool! Bees store the honey in a honeycomb for all the other bees in the hive to eat. Luckily for us, Bees usually make a little extra honey for people to enjoy. <gasps> Bees must visit so many flowers, they always look so busy. They do. And that is also why bees are one of the most important insects in the world. Because they visit so many flowers, they help spread the pollen flowers need to make seeds. Oh! Without bees. Flowers would have a very hard time doing this. In fact, without any bees, a lot of flowers would be in danger of not spreading their pollen at all and could disappear. Wow! So bees are just super important. That's right, Mim. We have to look after bees so they can look after the flowers. There are a lot of plants with flowers, and they need to spread pollen to reproduce and make seeds. Us humans and other animals use those seeds for food. Without bees, we could lose those plants and seeds and be in a lot of trouble. The most common bee is the western honeybee, which has the recognisable yellow and black colouring. Wait, I thought all bees looked like that. There are many different types of bees, and they all come in all sorts of sizes and colours. In Australia, there are native bees like the blue-banded bee, the dark sugar bag bee, fluffy teddy bear bees, and many more. In fact, there's some native bees that don't sting either. Why do they call them native? Because they've always been in Australia. The honeybee that makes the honey we eat was brought here from Europe a long time ago. Sadly, native bees in Australia are having a hard time because land clearing has taken away their homes. Oh, oh no. no! Okay, we gotta help the bees. How are we gonna help the bees, Professor? Well, there is one way people are helping. By making a bee hotel. 
Professor, I've been to a hotel and it was definitely big enough to have heaps of bees. Why don't they just stay there? Well, maybe the rooms are too expensive. Mm. Easy. They sell their honey to make the money to rent the hotel rooms. Yeah, nice. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, no, bee hotels are quite different. Maybe my friends from the Hall Honeys can tell us more. The idea of the Hall Honeys was to promote um, the health of pollinators uh, in general, including native bees, uh, which is so important to our environment and to the food we eat and the industries around us, the farming industries. So, so we formed this group called the Hall Honeys. And what do the Hall Honeys do? So the Hall Honeys decided it was a bit ambitious of us, but we said, could we make Hall Australia's first bee-friendly village? And what would that involve? And we decided that the most important thing we could do is to improve the gardens in the village. So it's all about habitat and places for the bees to live. So what we're trying to do is encourage people to have lots of flowers that, that are blooming all year round and to, play, and to create spaces for, for the bees the native bees um, like to burrow, to lay their eggs, so we, we encourage people to, to install bee hotels, native bee hotels. And also you've got to provide some water for the bees to drink. And finally we, we tell people to be really careful with how they use pesticides. What is a bee hotel? So part of our effort is about creating habitat for native bees. And there's over 1700 species of native bee in Australia and they're really important as part of our environment. And so what we're doing is we're building lots of little bee hotels. Now, the bees don't live in these hotels. They lay their eggs in them and they put some food in there and they seal them up. And that's where the baby bees emerge. How important is it to have pollinators in your garden? What we'd like is everyone to do their best to have a bee friendly garden and to understand the importance of uh, pollinators in general and to do what they can to ensure that they're healthy and able to do their important work. Is it just native bees who can stay at bee hotels? Well, people might not know, but it's not just European bees that pollinate plants. It's the native bees are out there and they're doing important work and there's butterflies and other insects. They all, if you think about it, and you're out in your garden looking, they're all visiting those flowers and moving from one to another. And some plants can only be pollinated by particular insects. So native bees, surprisingly, are really good at pollinating tomato plants. How do you create a bee-friendly garden? Yes, well, the most important thing I think is to have plenty of flowers. Now, uh, you need to think about flowers that would flower all year round. What sort of flowers do you need? Well, bees actually prefer flowers that are purple or yellow in colour, as a matter of fact. And that's why uh, the lavender is a very, very popular plant for bees to alight on. Do you have to have a bee hotel to have native bees in your backyard? No, you don't, actually. Uh, we've made beautiful bee hotels in Hall um, out of recycled wood uh, that looked like a, a little small house. But um, you don't need to do that. What you could do is to drill holes in um, any piece of wood. Uh, you can use bamboo. Uh, in an arrangement that you can make up yourself, tying it together, so that the um, native bees could lay their eggs there. Um, that's for so that the young bees can hatch, hatch out, and it's, it's like their little house, their hotel. How easy is it to attract native bees to your backyard? You can make um, native bee a native bee home for uh, out of any material. Uh, for example, I saw a, a program recently where somebody took a, a, a log and drilled holes in it. How can I make a bee hotel? You've got to go onto the web to get instructions because it's important to have holes that are the right depth and, and you can have lots of different size holes for different size bees. Uh, or you can use things like bamboo, so you can always make your own. <laughs> Okay, beanies, let's go make a bee hotel. To the craft table. <laughs> Here we are at the craft table, everybody. That's right. But before we start our craft, we need to make sure that we don't get any paint or glue on our beautiful clothes. That's why we have our beanies art time smocks. Well, what are we making today, beanies? Well, because this episode is all about bees, 
we're going to make a bee hotel and a bee. Yep. We're going to be using uh, some recycled materials for our bee hotel. Yeah, that's a real bee hotel. Mm. We're going to make our own one. Yep. And we're also going to make our own little buzzy bee. All right, this is what we need to make our buzzy bee. You can get all of these things from the Canberra Centre pack, but if you don't have a Canberra Centre pack, you can use some pipe cleaners. Ooh. So we need three different pipe cleaners, all the bee colours. A black one, a yellow one, and a white one. We also need a little bee head, which is a yellow pom-pom. And we also need some little tiny bee eyes. Whoop. Look. They're so small. <laughs> and last them. but not least, <laughs> we will need some glue. All right, so for the first step, I want you to get your black pipe cleaner and your yellow pipe cleaner. We're going to pinch them together at the top and then twist them around each other. Good. Go all the way down to the bottom. So your pipe cleaners have joined together into one black and yellow pipe cleaner. Oh, it's like magic. Cool. How are you guys going? We're going good. Okay. All right. Now we need to make body. So grab yourself a pencil or a pen. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And wrap it around the pencil or pen, just like this. And if you make a tight coil, you can make the bee body, just like this. And wah, 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 like that. And wrap it around and around. And so you make a nice fluffy bee body. Just like that. That looks great. Oh, how's yours going? Yeah. So once we've wrapped it all the way around our pencil, we're going to pull it off all as one piece. Ta -da. Look at that. It's a nice fluffy bee body, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's looking good already. Yeah. But we're not finished yet. So get your white pipe cleaner and then we're going to put it through one of the little gaps in the middle. Mm -hmm. Wiggle it on in there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, in the middle. Okay. In the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Next, we're going to bend down the top bit to make some little bee wings. So you want to have two loops. Oh. Ah. How are you going? Oh, this bit's tricky. It is a bit tricky. Looks good, though. Double loop. So I guess you need to make two little rainbows. Yeah, like that. There you go. Oh. Bee wings. Oh, Michael's wow. done his a little bit different. There you go. But that's Bee okay. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> oh, yours look great, Mim. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do now? Oh. Okay, now we need to put on the head of the bee. Mm -hmm. So grab yourself some glue. Ooh, glue. You can glue. put that in the middle. Grab yourself something to put on the glue. So we've got some little paddle pop sticks here and we're going to put on just a little bit of glue on the back of the head. Ooh. Dip that in there. Like I that. love it when you get to glue. That's okay, we've got our art smocks on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I always find a little bit of glue is best because then it dries quicker. If you put too much it'll be all wet. So we just put the head on the end there, like that. Oh, We've got a fluffy little head. It's so cute. Look how cute he is. But he's got no eyes. <laughs> oh no. Well, we better get some eyes on him, mini beanies. So we're going to get our glue stick again. <laughs> and then make sure that, again, you're only using a little bit of glue so it dries faster. So one on each of the eyes. And put it on your little bee head. One, two. Maybe mine's a cyclops. <laughs> just uses Does yours one. just have one eye, Michael Beanie? It might just have one eye. Oh, he's so cute. Your cutie is so fluffy. <gasps> oh, that looks good, Laura. <gasps> he's I adorable. Now, once you've got the two eyes on your bee, make sure we don't shake him around just yet because he needs to dry. Mm. Mm. So maybe we should put these aside while we wait for them to dry. Let's Alrighty. put them just over here. Hi, B1. I'm B2. Oh. 
good one. <laughs> How's all B3 right. going? B3 is all right. Yeah, he's got some googly, googly eyes. <laughs> Wowee. There we go. Get on there. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost the head. <laughs> Craft is hard. <laughs> That's okay. <It> didn't work. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to put the eye in there. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> well, while we wait for our bees to dry, maybe we should make our bee hotel. Good idea. <laughs> okay. So, we've got ourselves some milk carton here. Mm -hmm. We're going to use that. Mm -hmm. We're going to use some more of these. Ooh. And we're going to use some paper. Oh. Uh, we need some scissors. Mm -hmm. Be careful with those. Mm. A marker. And some tape. Ooh. That's right. And this is going to be our bee hotel. Well, first of all, we need our bee hotel to have a little door. Yeah, we need so the bees can get in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A way for the bees to get in. So the way we're going to do that is first we're going to draw what our door is going to look like before we cut it out. So let's do a little archway. Good drawing, Laura Beanie. Thanks. There nice go. door. Beautiful. A little door handle so they don't have yeah. to get in. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, cutting out, especially cutting out on plastic, can be a little bit tricky. Mm. So you should get your big person to help you with this. And we're going to get our big person to help, mm. Professor Know-It-All. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <gasps> wow. That cool. was like magic. <laughs> Okay, we have our door. So now what we need to do is, like a bee hotel, make some little burrows. Mm. So we're gonna do that by using paper. Mm. Grab a little bit of paper. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use a pencil. Thank you. To make a little burrow. So I just use it like that and wrap it around the pencil, nice and tight, like that. Okie dokie. Okay. This one might this. be a little bit tricky too, so you can get your big person to help with this yeah. part as well. So we've made ourselves a little burrow, like that. And that's what the bees are going to use when they come to the hotel. This like is going to be their little rooms. Oh, their little rooms. So I'm going to use a little bit of tape, like this. You guys can use the tape too. And that'll just keep that nice and tight. Thank you. And we're going to put them in like that. So we just need to cut off the edge a little bit so they sit nice and tight in there. So, again, careful with your scissors. Just going to cut off the edge there, like that. <gasps> Oop. Great. Room number one. Room number one. Only 50 to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Well, Laura's made one. Do you want to put yours in? Yeah. Okay. That one. That. Scissors. My hotel room's right next to yours, Michael. Is it? Yeah. Well, you can come visit if you like. <laughs> room number two. Oh, now I'm going to put my room in. It's the blue room. Blue room. And Is I'm that like a green room? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ooh, and then cut it to size. Ooh. Put it in there. Now we have to fill this whole door. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. It's looking good, mini beanies. Oh, look, mini beanies, we're halfway there. Last one. Snip. Oh, it's done. But not quite. Oh, we still need a way to be able to put it on the tree. Mm -hmm. Well, luckily I've got two pipe cleaners here. So I'm going to put one around the middle of the bottle, the top of the bottle, and then this one up through there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to twist it around to lock it in place. Twist, 
twist, twist. And then I'll do the same with the blue one. Twist, twist, twist. Locked in place. And I've left a big hole there that a tree branch could go through. Cute. Should we go hang it on the tree, mini beanies? Let's go. Oh, this looks like a good place for a bee hotel. This hotel is open for business. <laughs> good one. I wonder if we'll get any bees today. We'll see. <gasps> is this the Four Seasons? Oh, no. It's Buzzing Ham Palace. Yeah, it is Hive Stars. <laughs> I am a Hive Star bee. Well, you've come to the right place. The atmosphere is buzzing. Yeah, the floor is a little sticky, though. Here's your bee card. Ah. I'm making a bee line for the pool. <laughs> <laughs> and that's enough of that. A buzzy bee went to the tree to make some yummy scrummy honey for me. All that yummy didn't fill my tummy, so we need more bees to make more honey. Buzz, 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 buzz. One buzzy bee went to the tree to make some yummy scrummy honey for me. Watching mini beanies. I hope you learned something about bees today. And how you can make a bee hotel for your own home. So tune in next time to Floriad Sprouts for more Floriad fun. Bye, Bye mini beanies! beanies.